Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part two of my Instagram series. I just wanted to show you all how I take my flat lay photos as this is one of the most requested questions from all of you. Here I am setting up my first flat lay setup. I was shooting content for Monica Vinader. I wanted to go for a beachy photo. I didn't really have a particular inspo photo for this setup. I just kind of decided on a theme and rolled with it. I added a little straw fedora just to give it a beachy vibe I was initially going for and here I am moving the fedora around and placing it where I like it best. Adding the pompous really added the texture I was looking for. As you all know, neutrals are my thing, but it can be boring sometimes. Therefore, adding texture is an excellent way to spice up any photo. And sunglasses are a must. I love adding small props to my flat lights to keep things interesting and chic. I placed the star of the photo, the ring, and I moved it around to my liking. And here was kind of like the final setup. Um, I do go and move it around as I take photos, as you guys will see in just a little bit. Okay, now it's time to finally take the photos. I continuously move the ring around until I find the perfect angle to focus on. Don't be afraid to move things around and play with different angles. I flip my phone upside down sometimes to take photos because it gives me a different perspective compared to shooting just straight on. scenes moment this is actually apple cider and water okay this is not alcohol i wish it was um but it's not it's just a little behind the scenes some dried fruit and yeah shooting in direct sunlight can be tricky because shadows form but use those shadows to your advantage as you can see here the shadows move as the sun moved therefore each photo was a bit different so this is my setup for this particular um flat lay we are doing it for linear and these are the three rings that were gifted to me. And basically, I just kind of wanted to go for like a cottage core, <laughs> like vibe kind of, like a charcuterie board. So I have some cheese here, um, some bread that's actually bad, like it has mold, but you know, whatever, we're gonna throw this away anyways. Blueberries are good. Um, so I do have that, and then just a glass that I thrifted, and the sun is actually coming out, so it's about to be real cute with the sun but yeah that's basically my setup i love getting creative i had to shoot content for linear and when i saw the rings in person i instantly knew i wanted to do a picnic style photo shoot i had really old moldy bread and instead of just throwing it away i used it in this flat lay had to kind of repurpose there <laughs> and again playing around with the angles here is essential since i know i love more muted colors such as natural tones like beiges browns dark blues and whites i knew they complemented each other quite well it really is all about placement angles and textures when it comes to product photography or flat lays just in general For this specific photo, um, I was actually inspired by Silk On Me. She's an amazing content creator on Instagram. I will leave her link down below. But I wanted to recreate one of her photos here. As you can see, the background itself is super nice. Um, that's kind of how it goes with a lot of flat lay photos, but the behind the scenes of it all, that's why I like showing you all what it looks like on Instagram because it's not always what it seems. It really is all an illusion. Um, there's times where I don't even wear my full outfit. I just like put on a sleeve like a lot of you all have seen. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just, taking inspo for this particular photo i had no inspo pick for this one other than my apricots were going a little just bad they were a little too ripe and i needed to use them asap so i decided to just cut them up and use them for another monica vinegar photo opportunity i don't know i just really like the textures of this it's very soft um i decided to add the wrapping that the monica vinegar ring came in and i just thought it really gives it a a nice little i don't know just interest into the photo and again just flipping my phone just to get those angles it really is all about those angles everyone so i hope that you take some kind of information 
information from this or anything that helps um, when it comes to product photography just because it it is really just having an eye for it and um, just learning how to do it yourself can be challenging and that's why I'm making this video. Lastly, the cherry pick. I love this one so much. I did have two inspo photos for the setup, but I combined both of them. I love the colors and just the simplicity of this flat lace setup. And that's basically all. Um, I just take photos of them. I kind of just move everything around, make sure that everything's to my liking, and those are the results. I try to include as many results as I could per session of photo that I took of each flat lay and that is basically it i did go ahead and add a watch for this one i just love that watch so much it's so aesthetically pleasing to me um thank you all for watching and i hope you learned a thing or two until next time bye